Lesson 17, Estimating Quotients. So the problem we're going to try is 149 divided by 71. And we are working on estimating, just estimating, not actually solving the division problem. So the first thing we do when we estimate quotients is we round our divisor. So we're going to leave this blank for now. And we're going to round our divisor, in this case, the nearest 10, because it's a two-digit divisor. So 71 rounds to 70. Now, when um, rounding our whole, or a dividend, of 149, usually when we round, we would round to like the nearest 100 or the nearest 10. Um, but since we're dividing, it would be really nice if our whole, our dividend, was a multiple of our divisor, 70. So when we round to the nearest multiple of 70, I kinda, it kind of helps me to think of this as 7 and to think of this as 14 so that I can find a multiple of 7. So I'm thinking, well, when I count by 7s, it's 7, 14, 21. Well, right here I've got 14 or 140. 140 is, very is a multiple of 70. So I'm going to round this to 140. The reason I wouldn't round this to, say, 100 or to 200 is that 70 doesn't go equally, evenly, I should say, into 100 or to 200, which is why I rounded it to 140, which is a multiple of 70. So now I can use the same strategies we were using the other day. I'm going to decompose my divisor. I'm going to decompose 70 into 7 times 10, or I could have done 10 times 7. And then I'm going to distribute my division sign. So I'm going to actually switch the order of these, divided by 10, and divided by 7. So the first thing I'm going to do, using the patterns of 10, I know that dividing by 10 moves my decimal one time. Sorry for my sloppy equivalent er, approximate signs. So when I move my decimal one time here, 140 divided by 10 is 14. Then I still need to divide by 7. And 114 divided by 7 is 2. So my estimate for 149 divided by 71 is 2.